<sighs> Good morning. That's not the bus, is it? No, it's a lorry. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Time for another uh, vlog, folks. And today, we are off to Coventry. Now, you may be asking yourself, Ian, why are you going to Coventry? Well, it's very simple, really. Uh, so, the stretch on the West Coast Main Line between uh, Rugby and Stafford is closed. So, therefore, all the Avanti services coming from the north to get to London have to go through the Midlands. And to get through the Midlands, they're going to take the path that, well, we got last year. I think it was last year we uh, we got them. If not, it was the year before. When we did uh, Aston, Tabridge, Hampstead, uh, Witten and Aston and uh, Beskett Stadium. So, we're going to go and do five stations today. Coventry, Canley, Tile Hill, Berkswell and Hampton in Arden. And we're going to get these diverts uh, through those stations. Now you do have a guarantee today because normally whenever I go to the West Coast Main Line we're always seeing 390119 and 390121 in the same place at the same time. So today's vlog comes with Ian Poole's money back guarantee folks and that guarantee is if we do not see 390-119 and 390-121 today, you get your money back. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but you get your money back. So I guarantee we see them at some point today. Anyway, also when uh, they closed Stafford to uh, Rugby, they closed Rooty Trent Valley to Rooty Town. So I have to get the replacement bus to Henson's. I think uh, the, the work is happening at uh, Rouge and Trent Valley. I hope Simon will let me uh, use the footage he got uh, when he went to the Foxdale Railway to, uh, to back that up. But yeah, we're just walking down to Wharf Road. Let's go get the replacement bus. I can just tell from the two-tone shade who this is already. It's uh, Select, and they sent me number nine. Or have they sent me the newbie? He's that one. <laughs> Dead ass. Number 22, that's number 22 there. It's an Enviro Fest. Now for the choo choo. My god, I've not got a two. Shock horror. Right. Now I'm going to go over to platform 10. We have a little surprise for you all. Hello. 
I seem to have stumbled across a 37 here at uh, Birmingham New Street on a charter train. Well, it'd be rude not to film this thing, wouldn't it? standing already. Who would have actually fought it? Now get the Avanti. Get the Avanti, that's a bit of a joke really. Perhaps they didn't cancel the Bournemouth. <sighs> the oh that didn't feel healthy. The amount of times I've been in a lift today. We haven't even got to nine o'clock yet. <laughs> oh, my train's here. Coach you. I think it's 390.115. Isn't it? Let me just... Uh, oh no, it's 112, sorry. It's 112. I do apologise. She's going to take me to Coventry! Try! Get a cover tie! Lego. There we go. It's cover dry! Fantastic! Then, folks, here we are at our first station of the day. This is the COV Coventry, uh, operated by Avanti West Coast. It has four platforms to its name, uh, with additional services being provided by Cross Country and West Midlands Trains under both their London North Western and West Midlands Railway banner. 
Now, Coventry originally opened in 1838 by the London North Western Railway, but the original station only lasted two years before this station was built in 1840. And it sort of kept, it was two platforms originally, and then they put in application for the island platform, platforms two and three. But it wasn't until the 1960s, when electrification and modernization was going on, that platform two and three got built. So that is Coventry. You can see they're undergoing a big redevelopment at the moment with the new garage area and the new footbridge uh, that's going in as well, which have been completed, by the way. Um, Avanti Super Voyager over my shoulder. Get them while you can, because uh, they are soon to be in a uh, very popular demand. Now, already we've seen trade maybe 39119, so that's one tick out of the way. Just needs 39121 for your money back guarantee. And I guarantee you will be getting your money back if uh, 39121 doesn't show up. But you know the rule, whenever we see 119, we see 121. But uh, anyway, we're here for an hour. And it's London North Western all the way back up to Birmingham International. Uh, starting with Canley. Good old Canley. Now, I suppose we should address the, uh, the latest rumours regarding the Super Voyages. Uh, and the latest rumour is they're going to be split with half the allocation, <coughs> excuse me, going to uh, cross country and half the allocation going to Grand Central. So that is the latest on the, uh, the Super Voyages. I think that uh, if that is the case, Grand Central are going to be the big winners there. And I mean big winners. I'm no weatherman, but even I know that don't look good. In fact, I will go on record to say that might just be the ultimate downpour right there. Wait and see, folks. God, I love being right 99% of the time.
West Coast service to London Euston, calling it Rugby, Milton Keynes Central and London Euston. This train is full of 11 coaches. Hello Canley. Right folks, we have arrived at our second station of the day. This is Canley Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner and it has two platforms to its name. And Canley was opened, this is actually one of the more newer stations on this section. It was opened in 1940 but it was opened as Canley Halt. It wasn't until the late 1960s that the Halt was suffix was dropped and it became simply known as Canley. Now this is the closest station to the village of Earlsdown. You could also alight here for the University of Warwick apparently, even though I actually thought the University of Warwick was uh, a lot farther away than uh, actually was planned. But I looked on the map, it's actually a lot closer than you think to, uh, to Canley. Now Coventry went well, we got two freight trains and plenty of diverts. We did miss a couple, one because we were interchanging between the stations, or platforms I should say and another because it arrived the same time as our train you can't help that that's that's neither here or there but hopefully we still get plenty more diverts here we have a couple of late freight trains running so that should have gone up the west coast main line so brilliant we'll see uh we'll see what else it brings so here for an hour and then we're off to our next station which is actually one of my favorites on this stretch tile hill
crazy right now. It's the button. I can't do that yet. We can't do that just yet. <laughs> Easily my favourite station on this whole stretch. And we're going to get more freight trains as well. You know what? I think I'm going to get some merch done for this. You all know what time it is. Everybody say it with me. It's a motherfucking bench! Right then folks, we are at Tile Hill Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner and it has two platforms to its name and originally opened in 1850 as Alizy Gate uh, before being renamed to Alizy Lane in 1857. Uh, and then in 1864 it assumed its name uh, Tile Hill. Now the station when it was originally built was actually on the other side of that road bridge. That road bridge actually used to be a level crossing before they redeveloped it and put a uh, road bridge there. That level crossing is long gone. It's 2004 I think that level crossing disappeared. The original station was on the other side of that bridge and this station was built in 1966. So this is the, the more current incarnation of uh, Tile Hill. It's my favourite. It's easy to well, see why from uh, the shots we get. Nice long straight, either way. W plenty of advance warning. You cannot go very wrong. We got opportunity, which means no one gets their money back. Unlucky. <laughs> oh, would it just be the icing on the cake if we actually then not only got opportunity and pride, at two different stations. What would happen if Pride came here now? It's been about two, three hours, so it's due back up. Wouldn't that just be hilarious? I think it uh, personally would. Anyways, here for an hour, and then we're going to go to our least favourite station on this stretch, which is Burkeswell.
Oh, dearie me. Drunk. Yeah, right then, folks, here we are at uh, station number four for the day. This is Burkeswell Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner. It has two platforms to its name. And when it opened in 1844, it was originally called Dockers Lane until it then changed its name back in the 1850s to Burkeswell. Around about 1928, it then changed its name to Burkeswell and Balsall Common because where Burkeswell is situated, you've got the village of Burkeswell on one side and Balsall Common on the other side. Balsall Common being just behind me, actually. And then it's reverted its name back in the 1960s to just being known as Burkeswell. I think you can see easily why it is my least favourite uh, station on this uh, stretch of track. But let's hope. I mean, let's hope for some good announcements anyway. Let's, let's, just, uh, let's just see if we can hope for that. Now, about half past 12, I will be moving down towards the shelter there because uh, Emirates Big Bird A380 is due into Birmingham International, and that is going in this direction. So hopefully, we'll be able to see it through the trees so I can get you a good shot of the Emirates Big Bird as it lands into uh, Birmingham International. But uh, here for an hour, and then we are on our way to Hampton in Arden. Oh, I should point out, uh, we have got a cancelled train, uh, the 1226 to Birmingham New Street. Uh, that's been terminated at Northampton, um, issue with the train crew. So because we're doing this during the Aslef strike, uh, I can imagine that uh, someone's not turned up for overtime and then uh, it's on from there. So yeah, let's get going. Just a quick update, folks. The day has gone tits up. Yes. Um, no, we have a, a points failure at Stetchford. The f I think that's the third this week. With all this freight uh, that gets diverted over the points, I think the points have knackered themselves. So, at the moment, the job has stopped at Burkeswell, which is unfortunate. Now, whether that means there will be residual delays onwards, they're saying till one o'clock. Uh, I think it may just be a case of we may just want to get out of here and get home because we don't we don't know what uh, oh we've got a train coming down ah we've got a train coming down so maybe they fixed it let's uh, let's see we'll uh, get back onto that in a second right I am looking for it. that that is the sound of it you can hear it Right in the middle of your screen, folks. Emirates Big Bird. Woo! Well, that makes up for something, I guess.
just a little update for you all. I'm still at Berkswell. Still at Berkswell. It's been about two and a half hours. Nothing. Still train here and there, but nothing. Everything in London Northwestern has gone through fast. And I'm expecting this one at uh, 1354 to do the same. It's getting quite a bit of a joke now. Get, getting a bit, uh, bit jokey now. Yeah, I know there's residual delays, but the, the fact that we've had no information is, uh, well, it's a joke. Oh, we'll keep waiting. <sighs> well, finally, folks, a train is here. Only been waiting, what? Two hours. It's not even packed, it's all right. options I've got. <sighs> you know what? Right. Let's go have a trip into the airport terminal. Doors closing. Uh, we're closing, so uh, yeah, see you later. Please hold on. We are about to depart for Birmingham Airport. We'll be seeing you. So, um, yeah, just to give you um, a bit of an idea. We've got here and there's nothing going past here to Birmingham New Street. There's not even ticket acceptance in place with National Express. So... Literally, I'm sat here waiting for it. But what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to go into the terminal. I'm going to see if I can get something to drink. Perhaps a bite, bit bite to eat because I can feel my energy levels uh, depleting. And then we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, well, one thing I have noticed is there's no trains to Hensford. So, literally, there's nothing to Hensford from here. So, I could be here a while. But like I said, we'll see. Hopefully we get uh, moving anyway. Uh, Alright, let's go see what uh, damage is done then. This day, literally anything could be happening. There's a freight train uh, flying through. <laughs> Useful. My God, it's an actual Hensford train. I've only been stood here for a couple hours. 350-115, thank you. At least it's not a bloody two.
Uh, let's go find a four wheeler. Uh, let's see what we got there. My money's on the 65 plate from earlier. One plate. Sixty one plate. Is that the ex London one I saw earlier? I think this might be ex London, you know. I need to check. Yeah, it is, it's dual door. It's Town Transit. I can just about make out the logo at the front there. This should be fun. Enviro 200. Interesting. Very, very oh. interesting. That turned out to be a bit of a bummer end, didn't it? <laughs> yes, once again, London Northwestern strike again. Why, why are we not surprised? What? Tell me down why I'm not surprised. Okay, there's a points failure. That's absolutely fine. No excuse, even though your trains now terminated at Birmingham International, with plenty of turnaround time to bypass all stops between Coventry and Birmingham International. No excuse. No, no, no excuse for that. I'm afraid. And it it just goes to to highlight London and the fact that they didn't even communicate. I, I checked online to see if they put. Um, things in place so that people can get uh, from places and they hadn't they hadn't I checked at two o'clock and they replied to someone saying we have no ticket acceptance in place at the moment been going on for two hours and you hadn't got ticket acceptance in place with anyone that's that's out of order as far as I'm concerned C call me an old man call me a bit of a ranter and a bit of a raver but I seriously do think that, that that's just uh, not on. And um, I hope that uh, when they get back to me that uh, they have a reasonable excuse for, for not doing that. Because to come up with an excuse, oh, but we didn't have time or what, what, what. It's not about time. If you know there's a point fairly, you know it's going to take a while, you get stuff in place straight away. You don't just make it up as you go along. That That's just not how business works. And I'm sure a lot of people out there will agree with me, that's just not how business works. But anyway, so we couldn't do Hampton and Arden. We'll see if they do diverts later in the year. I doubt they will. But uh, if they do, we'll get Hampton and Arden uh, put in. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh Apologies for an old man ranting. <laughs> I'm 40, I'm getting old. I'm starting to rant even more and more. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Next vlog from me will come from the other place for the diverts, which is going to be the Beskett through to Witten stretch. But we're also going to include Penkridge in with that so hopefully nothing goes wrong there who knows we may see 390119 and 39121 again it, it's a guarantee with me folks if you see one you'll see the other that's the guarantee it used to be remember when it used to be 39104 and 221115 when they were in the uh alston rap and the bombardier rap always in the same place at the same time that's how it is it's with them two one just follows the other it's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, 
like I said, Penguin next. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next day. Kick back and reminisce. Thinking about the dumb shit I did. Growing up, maybe a bitch, but I keep on going because I know I can do this. I was born a baby.